Hello everyone, I am Sarfraz from mobilesmspk.net and today I will do a quick comparison between Qmobile Noir S6 and Qmobile Noir Z14. So let's get started. I have already made review video of Qmobile Noir S6 and recommending you to watch that video as well. Qmobile S6 is available in Pakistan for Rs 12,750 while Z14 is available in Rs 25,500. So Z14 is exactly double the price of S6. Please note that I have mentioned official prices of the devices. You can get both of them cheaper than this from market. Even though it is not a fair to compare a budget device with a flagship device. But in this video, we will try to understand that is it justifiable to buy a device which costs you double, which is Z14 in our case. Here are the specifications. You can pause this video if you want to read till end. Build quality of S6 is not cheap by any means. But after holding S6 and Z14 side by side, I can feel that how premium Z14 build quality is. Let me show you all the sides of both phones. On top, S6 has micro SV port and 3.5mm headphone jack and Z14 has 3.5mm jack only. On right, both S6 and Z14 has volume rockers and power buttons. On bottom, S6 has microphone and a speaker grill and Z14 has microphone, USB Type-C port and a speaker grill. Nothing on the left on S6 but on Z14 there is a SIM card tray. There is 13 megapixel camera and 3 LED flash on the back of S6 while there is a secondary noise cancellation mic, 13 megapixel camera and single LED flash on the back of Z14. Even though both phones has 13 megapixel camera but Z14 camera quality is way better than S6. S6 has two dedicated SIM card slots and separate micro SD card slot so you can use both the SIMs and micro SD cards simultaneously. But on Z14 there is a hybrid slot so you can use either two SIMs or one SIM and micro SD card at a time. S6 is made of plastic while Z14 is made of aluminum. Z14 has chamfered edges and despite being made of aluminum, Z14 is not heavy at all. Let me show you the weight of both devices. You can notice that Z14 is only 20 grams heavier than S6 and don't forget that Z14 has bigger battery than S6 which is quite remarkable. Just to remind you that S6 has 2500 mAh battery while Z14 has 3130 mAh battery. Let me show you how fast fingerprint sensors are on both devices. You can unlock S6 directly from standby mode by using fingerprint sensor but on Z14 you need to wake up the phone first and then unlock the device from fingerprint sensor. S6 has 5 inch HD IPS display with 720p resolution while Z14 has full HD IPS display with 1080p resolution. Z14 screen is made of 2.5D curved glass but unfortunately there is no Gorilla Glass protection. I have noticed that Z14 screen is resisting fingerprints very well. But on the other hand, S6 screen is fingerprint magnet. Viewing angles of Z14 screen is better than S6 and screen is also very responsive. All the specs of Z14 are better than S6 but how these specs are translated into performance. Let me show you the benchmark scores. Here is the entry to score. Here is the Geekbench score. You have noticed that N2 and Geekbench single core scores on Z14 are almost double than S6, while Geekbench multi core score is almost 3 times more on Z14. This means that 
you are going to get double performance on Z14 than S6. So that was the quick comparison video between Qmobile S6 and Z14. I hope this comparison video helps you to understand that what is the difference between flagship device and a budget device and why flagship devices are cost so much. I will continue to upload this kind of videos in future. So please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you have any questions, feedbacks or suggestions, do let me know in the comment section below. For more information, please do visit my website.